Do you have a repair to be made and you need to use a threaded insert but you don't know how to do it? That's what I'm going to cover today as I repair this rocket and put threaded inserts into the back end. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Um, I have this rocket, and I made a mistake when I was building it, um, and I need to repair it. Let me show you what happened here. Take this apart. So here on the back of the rocket, it has these two little screws, one there and one there, that you put in this motor mount adapter. You put it in and you twist it around, and then you put a screw into that little hole right there. Well, one of the little holes, the screw broke off. Uh, and that's the mistake that I made. Um, I was trying to fix it with super glue and I accidentally glued the screw in and it snapped right off. So now I can't hold this in properly. So I'm going to put in two new threaded inserts like this one right here to replace these screws. Now obviously I can't put them in the same spot. So I'm going to have to rotate this around and put them in like over here. Um, so I'm going to start by marking where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put this back in. And first I'm going to start with where the current hole is right there. All right. And then I'm going to take a marker. And I'm going to twist it around a little bit. Now I can't put it right here. So I'm going to put it like right here and I need to mark where those holes are going to go. So uh, normally I would use a pencil, but uh, since in order for you to see this, I'm going to use a marker. I want to mark the location. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm marking on one side here, and then on this side I'm going to mark on the opposite side so that if you drew a straight line, it would go right through the middle. And I want to also mark the bottom. Hopefully I, I got it. Yes, I do. Okay, so here is my little L on this side. And I don't know if you can see this one here on this side. So I want to put one of the screws right here. Right there. And I'm doing this upside down. I'm hoping I'm not blocking your view. Um, it's very hard to do upside. Normally I would do it like this, but um, I have nothing to put the rocket on and you couldn't see it that way. Okay, so I'm gonna put one screw there and one right there. Uh, I'm gonna start by drilling a pilot hole. So I got a little 16th inch drill bit right here. And then I'm gonna drill the pilot hole and then put in a quarter inch hole. So. Okay, and I just test before I put in more bigger holes. I can I can deal with smaller holes. So okay, so I can see, I don't know if you can see, but my holes are like right here, right in the middle of my these little squares, which is good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna switch out and use a quarter inch drill bit, which is what is recommended. Okay, same process. I'm just going to drill out those holes. Just lost one.
Okay, so now I have my two holes and then these threaded inserts are just screwed right into those. And one side has a slot on it for the screwdriver. And that's how you screw them in. So you get it started and then you just twist it in the rest of the way with a screwdriver. Okay, so the threaded inserts are in. Um, now I like to put a drop of thin CA glue on them, but make sure you get it on the outside, not the inside, because that's how I screwed it up the first time. So I'm going to put a drop of glue there, and a drop of glue there, just a little bit, just to hold it in place. Now I want to test this. Make sure it goes in, and then rotate it around and find those little inserts. There we go. So there's one there, one there, and then to finish it off, I have a number 632 inch screw. Um, it's three quarter inches long. I got these down at the hardware store. washer on there as well. And this is what holds that motor adapter in there so that I can use this rocket with uh, 29 millimeter motors instead of 38 millimeter. This gives you more options. All right, so it's locked in there really nice and it's removable so I can take that out fly this rocket with the 38 millimeter um, so that yeah, it was a pretty simple uh, repair um, I don't recommend having to do it in the first place but if you have to do it these little threaded inserts can really save your day we do have these here at Apogee Components our web address is www.apogeerockets.com my name again is Tim Van Milligan you're watching the Apogee Advanced Construction Workshop May the winds be light, and may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.